happening everybody? Welcome to today's video. First of all, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It will really do me a favour and it will really do you a favour because you get to watch my videos more, basically. And uh, it does me a favour because more people watch my videos. So, subscribe to the channel. That's first off. But in today's video, a um, couple of things I want to talk about. Basically, like... I was on Instagram this morning and a memory popped up of a Instagram post that I did in 2016 and it like took me back I was like whoa wow like and basically um, Arthur would have been two years old by then my son and uh, like we lived in a flat I worked a job where I worked for a company so like my life has changed a heck of a lot since then you know three kids um, running a business moved houses like all this kind of stuff like life's moved on a long way and a lot of things have happened over those years since that picture was taken but i was like really surprised with how absolutely shredded i was in that picture um but what i basically wanted to do was talk about today was i compared that picture with a picture of myself now and like the two different journeys and timelines between those two pictures and the differences you know and I'll, I'll put the picture up on the screen the the comparison of the two pictures I'll put the picture of um, 2016 I'll put the picture of now and then I'll, we'll put them both together so so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about basically with the first picture you know I was really into bodybuilding um, doing like bro split training so like I was in the gym six sometimes seven days a week body parts all split down you know leg day chest day back day arm day etc etc you kind of get the drift and um, you know I worked for a company you know would just work you know the hours you work and then there'd be no like added stress not, not think about things after work to do a work and all that kind of stuff do your hours come home all that kind of stuff and although we had one kid at the time you know things were a little bit easier I could fit my training in a lot easier I was, I was a lot more disciplined in terms of my diet because I was into that bodybuilding world and around about that time when this picture was taken I was starting to shred down as you probably would have said at the time um, to try and see if I could get as lean and in shape as possible for the sort of level you would need to be to compete on like a bodybuilding stage. Now I can't remember if I was thinking about going into bodybuilding or or like men's physique type stuff like if you don't know anything about either of those two men's physique is basically just another form of like bodybuilding but it was on stage competitions getting as best shape as you possibly can get absolutely ridiculously lean and, and go on stage so I was probably around about that time just see if I had what it took to get down that lean see how my body looked and wanted to I think I booked a photo shoot to get into shape for a photo shoot and um, I'll post that picture up on the screen as well of the shape I got in for the particular photo shoot but it was all to try and test things to see if I could get into the shape I wanted to get into and like it was hard and I'll be honest with you at that point in my life apart from you know owning our first place and also having Arthur who would have been around about two then um, apart from those two things the rest of my life you know I hated my job at the time I didn't like my job whatsoever um, probably way too fixated on bodybuilding and body image and stuff like that um, and following a diet process which was really restrictive and to be honest probably made me miserable um but what i kind of wanted to get out with this video was that back then i had a lot less things to worry about back then my life was a lot more simple it was about going to the gym spending the weekend with the family and that was literally like it now you know three kids later got a business of my own that i run so now it's like there is no off time like 24 hours a day like if you know what it's like if you run your own business 24 hours a day there's things that come up there's things to do you've got to worry about marketing you've got to worry about your particular clients you've got to worry about bringing in new business 
uh, like at the moment going through the pandemic that we're going through you're worrying about how your business is coping through all of that you go to bed at night thinking about things you, you know all these different things as compared to back then so it's a lot easier to get in that kind of shape back then but actually I'm probably more happy with my body now than I was back then and actually recently you know I've been following a diet been slimming down aiming to get some visible abs again because you know, I haven't had some visible abs in a while it's been a, a rough couple of years I'm, I'm not gonna lie training and everything kind of went on the back burner growing the business having our third child losing our second child like the past two three years have been carnage so my training and, and the motivation for all that kind of stuff took a bit of a back seat and now I'm getting back into the rhythm of things, feeling happy with things again. But I'm more happy now and content with dieting and everything now than I was back then. Back then, I would have, I would have tortured myself with exercise if I'd overeaten. I would have, you know, had cheat meals on the weekends, cheat days, which I absolutely hate that terminology. And it's like, but back then, that's what I would have called it. Um, and I would have like warranted it, but actually what it basically was happening was you'd go uber uber strict and boring on your diet during the week and at the weekend you're desperate for a cheap day or a cheap meal and you would warrant it in kind of saying that this is to help me bulk and all this kind of crap jargon you'd come out with. But actually what was happening is you was miserable during the week and then the weekend come along and you couldn't wait to have a blowout on foods that you've restricted yourself off. For the past five days and then you kind of go around in that circle again and when i got down to that leaner body weight i was consuming hardly any calories i was still training an awful lot energy levels were probably pretty dire sleep was probably pretty dire um like lifestyle balance was probably pretty dire and you know i'd say that you're probably like on the verge of almost like an eating disorder because of that kind of guilt of eating something um, feeling like you have to do exercise immediately after you eat a particular food whereas now I've got that balance you know I've consistently trained throughout those years so I've built a, a decent amount of muscle base and everything like that learned a lot about dieting nutrition all those things worked with plenty of clients helped those guys so you learn a lot and learn a lot about all the balance and balancing things and now I'm probably more content with my physique than I was back then. I'm probably more content with my lifestyle and the balance of things than I was back then. Even though you can maybe look at that and think he was in better shape back then. But it just shows you that kind of your life changes and everything changes along with it. And your priorities change. My priority over the past, God knows how many years, hasn't been about bodybuilding or about a six pack it's been about health being as healthy as possible feeling strong training because i enjoy it um eating healthy for my health but but also in eating foods that i enjoy for my mental health and socializing and all that kind of stuff so it's finding that better balance um and the I know there's a lot of people out there that maybe when they were younger, life was more simple like me. It was a lot easier to get to the gym. It was a lot easier to train. It was a lot easier to, you know, be in shape. Then life kind of happened and things happened along the way. And maybe unlike me, I've consistently carried on training over those years. And my career path is, you know, personal trainer and coaching people. So I've stayed in that space. But other people, they would have had that simpler life when they were younger. Um had the time to do all those things probably been in good shape as life's gone by they've gone into different careers maybe had kids like all these different traumas and life experiences would have happened along that way and then you find yourself in a position where you weren't as in shape as you were when things were a lot more simple but it's about understanding that life changes your priorities change and you know i don't train as much as i used to back then six seven days a week i just couldn't find the time I wouldn't want to now. Um, I wouldn't be able to fit in or it would be taken away from other things. It would be taken away from work or it would be taken away from family time. It would be taken away from both of those things, which I don't want to sacrifice anymore. So the training style has changed since then because I want to get more done in less time. I don't want to split body parts all down into different days of the week. I want to train 
effectively get the most out of like three days a week training, four days a week maybe, and then the rest of the time it's about finding that balance between everything else. The second thing I wanted to talk about in today's video was to do with like the media. Okay, I get sent articles and stuff all the time um, from, from clients, from friends, family, just like about news articles to do with like dieting, health and fitness. And it's normally like they, they, the writer has like clung on to some sort of thing that's been done and thrown a headline in there that's completely misleading. And here's the recent one I got sent. And uh, what I wanted to go through was one, like first of all guys, don't get your dieting health in some information from newspapers. Just like anything, always take the newspaper and the media with a pinch of salt because specifically a lot of people don't bother reading the whole article. They don't know how to maybe look into the whole article because the headline is always to grab your attention. And normally it's to grab your attention in a way when it comes to dieting and losing weight that a way that they know that you'll like the, the thing to be portrayed to you that may basically makes it look like this is the answer or this thing's really easy and then when you read the article they basically like make the headline seem stupid throughout the article so this one was gaining weight can help you live longer okay people who pile on the pounds later in life are more likely to live to 80 than those who remain slim study claims okay so Straight away you can look at that and the picture is a person measuring like an overweight person with like a measuring tape, okay? So you can look at that, gaining weight can help you live longer. There you have it. <sighs> Screw all this dieting lark. See, they've said it, that actually gaining weight is better for us. There's no point in me losing weight. Um, this dieting stuff's too hard. Told you, there's my excuse. The newspaper have said it, therefore it has to be true well we all know that stuff that they say in the newspapers a lot of the time isn't true or it's you know a slur on words or to suit a particular agenda or just to sell newspapers basically which is what their job is it's just to sell newspapers people who pile on the pounds later in life are more likely to live to 80 than those who remain slim okay there's a gray area there how much are we talking about now obviously there's two ends of the spectrum. If someone is, you know, too underweight, then it's an issue with their health. Just like at the opposite end, if someone's too overweight or obese, then it's a danger to their health. So there's some mixed messages here. People who started adulthood at a normal weight and later become overweight, but never obese, okay? So this is the first part where the headline might suggest differently. You might be sitting there thinking, well, I don't need to lose weight because they've said, a study has said that people who are fatter later in life live longer. Okay? People who started adulthood at a normal weight and later became overweight but not obese tended to live longest they found. Okay? Amazingly, adults who fit this definition live longer than those adults whose weight was normal in range throughout their life. Rather less surprisingly, those who started adulthood as obese and continued to add weight had the highest mortality rate. So this is where th things get a bit confusing because they're saying to you, gain a bit of weight. Now, you know, a bit of weight, you know, you could say a lot of people are carrying an extra bit of weight, but... They're still saying in here that being obese, you're likely to live less. Okay, you're likely to die younger and it's not good to go into adulthood as obese. So it's already like the headline is already misleading. And this, as you read through this article, it's like, why have you even bothered making this article? It's just nonsense to, again, you know there's a particular audience there that are reading, that are interested in losing weight, they're struggling. So let's claw them in and let's give them this to read, but it's misleading people. Wor worryingly, worryingly, today's younger generations are becoming overweight and obese sooner in their lives than their parents and are more likely to have deaths linked to increased obesity, the study has found. Well, we all know that. You know, lifestyle choices, you know, it's much... There's many more sedentary jobs nowadays than there used to be. People don't have to do much 
it to find food or anything anymore. Food is abundance. Food is cheap. Processed food is cheap. It's people don't have time. People don't have the skills to cook or anything anymore. It's all about let's stick that in there for 10 minutes. That's done. Let's order this in. You can get food, any type of food nowadays, delivered to your front door. Pretty much anything. You know, things like Uber Eats and all that kind of stuff. So it's no wonder that younger generations are more obese than the older generations were at their age. So while study authors aren't advising adults to become overweight, officially defined as having a body mass index greater than or equal to 25, they do suggest that if we have to add the pounds, do it later in life. So basically what they're trying to say is what we know is try and keep a healthy body weight for the majority of your life because that's going to see you through to adulthood for starters. Okay, and like adulthood, I don't know where they're maybe starting to think about adulthood as whether they're thinking about older generations or whatever they're thinking. But basically they're saying be healthy as you can for as long as you can. Exercise, eat healthy, remain a good body weight. Because it says here they're advising adults, then they aren't advising adults to become overweight. They do suggest that if we do, to add the pounds later in life. So they're saying to you, if you're going to add on some weight, wait until you're older. Which is likely to happen anyway, because as we get older, life potentially becomes easier. You don't have to work as hard because maybe you've earned your money, you've, you've bought your house. Um, you start to slow down from maybe doing any manual labour if you were doing manual labour. You're starting to enjoy your life more, maybe because you've got more money. You're starting to go on holidays more, nice dinners out more. So it's kind of a natural cycle that potentially as people get older, past a certain age, they're going to start gaining weight anyway. You see, my actual main issue with this article is that there is some good data in here, but the headline's just all wrong. Actually, as you go through here, it starts to talk more about how the younger generations and it's worrying because the data shows that the younger generations are becoming more obese than their previous generations of parents. So basically this study, they have kept an eye on like two generations, the parents and then their children as well. And they've studied them throughout these years. There's like 5,000 people involved or something. Um, but the worrying thing is the headline that they've used, actually they could have used a much better one. Instead of talking about it's safer for you to gain weight and live longer as, as an adult. Gaining weight can help you live longer. People who pile on the pounds later in life are more likely to live to 80. Instead of using that, what they should have put was about how actually worrying it is that childhood obesity is a thing now. And it's way worse than their previous generation, than their parents. These kids are gaining weight and getting more overweight younger than their parents were when their parents piled on the pounds. So basically they're saying that you're better off if you're going to gain weight, gaining weight when you're older, rather than starting off being overweight and then kind of just getting more and more overweight, which we know is a problem. But this article, they could have worded it way better to actually get people to read it and then start thinking, actually, you know, childhood obesity is becoming a problem because computer games, less reasons to go outside, access to you know, processed foods is a lot easier. Kids are now going from, you know, they're, they're doing more studying, so they're sitting down more, and then they're going into jobs where they're sitting down more and they spend the majority of their lives sitting at desks and stuff. So it's no wonder that these people are getting more and more overweight. Stresses, more pressures, more access to social media and, um, you know, like, shaming and all that kind of stuff so it's no wonder that these younger generations are having more of an obesity problem at a younger age than the older generations because the world has changed an awful lot throughout those generations and this article could have been used in a much better way to shed light on that rather than it seeming like hold on a minute if you're trying to diet at the moment stop because you're better off being an overweight adult and it's like They've got it all wrong. And the, the point I'm trying to make here is that, one, I'm not a big fan of newspapers and that anyway. I can't remember the last time I bought a newspaper. Literally cannot remember the last time I looked at one. And I very rarely switch on the news. Now, I switch on the news every now and again at the moment just to keep an eye up to date with what's going on with the pandemic. But you've always got to take all of this information with a pinch of salt. And if you're getting your health 
and fitness information from a newspaper, it's, these, they're part of the problem why dieting and everything over the years is so screwed up because they take a small little thing, they blow it up in the headline and then they confuse the shit out of everybody that's reading it pretty much. And the only thing you take away from that is the information on the headline because the rest of it you can't be asked to read this study, that study, blah 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 blah. You can't be asked to dissect it, you see it's really long. People don't have the time or want to sit there and read long articles anymore. So they take the face of the first bit, which is normally the headline, which is just to catch you in there, because they're trying to tell you something you think you want to hear, when actually you read the article, it's completely different. It's about childhood obesity, and the studies found that that is a worrying sign that kids are starting off getting obese younger and obviously as they grow older they're becoming more obese but they've worded it as you're better off becoming overweight as an adult and you're going to live longer when actually what the article is trying to say pretty much is that live your life as healthy as possible exercise stay a healthy weight eat healthy stay active and if you're going to gain weight you're better off gaining it later on in life and then you're likely to live longer. But if you gain a lot of weight from a young age and you just keep gradually gaining weight as you get older, which is what a lot of people do, then you're likely to die younger. And that headline's just made it seem like something completely different. So, if you are getting your diet and health advice from newspapers, stop, okay? And try and seek out somebody who can actually help you, who really works with people in person, like me, like a trainer, like a coach. Don't get your diet advice because, you know, they'll be talking about shake diets, tea diets, this is the new thing, do this, do that. Get your information from people who actually work with people for a living doing those things and not from a newspaper which is just there just to sell newspapers. The headlines are there to sell newspapers. Anyway guys, thanks for tuning in to today's video. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you need any help, if you're struggling, you need any diet help and exercise help and you wanna get you know, into shape, then pop me a message and I'll be happy to help, happy to have a chat. But just yeah, be careful of all the bullshit that's out there.